I'm George, welcome to George Made This. You've just seen me start what is gonna become a miniature greenhouse. So I've just got the main part of the frame done and held together, it's nice and strong. Now what I've got to do is build a couple of doors in here and then this top section I've got to figure out what angles I need to cut these two pieces at and then from there I can then make two doors at the top that open up. Next step is probably to start working out these angles. So you've just seen me fit the, we'll call them cleats, around the, what are going to be the windows. And I've just, these are only press fitted in for now. I'm going to go around, do the sides and this front, this um, triangular bit up top. Then once all the snow dies down, because we've got snow outside at the moment, once all that goes, I can go out and get materials to do then the doors and the top ones here. And then the shelf bits, you know, and the shelf bits. <laughs> So what I'm going to do next is fit these other panels and then I'll get the other bits of um, strips in place. All of these bits that I cut, get those nailed in so that it holds those panels in place. two doors on the front, two doors on the top, and three shelves inside that I've got to do make out of slats, and uh, we'll be good to go.
Cool, so I've got my shelf supports cut. So I've just got to figure out my spacing. Now what I have got to do is take out my braces here, just so I can then fit these in nicely in between here. That will also work nicely to keep the plastic in place. So I've worked it all out and I'm gonna get, well, I need to have about six slats per shelf. The only problem is I've run out of wood. So I've got 14 slats, which is a real bugger because I only need four more. But I'll just have to go and uh, get some more material when I go to get the new hinges. It is what it is. share a very quick tip so on the doors where I didn't where these aren't as thick as the main frame these cleats stick up just a smidge as you can see so what I've been doing I've been using my hand plane to plane them down but when you're planing something you really you want something to be pushing against just so that the workpiece is gonna plane and you're not gonna be pushing the workpiece around your workbench so all I've done I've got this scrap of wood that I cut earlier and that just acts as a stop. If you haven't got a bench that you can use bench dogs in, just a bit of wood nailed to your workbench or screwed, however you want to do it, just gives you a nice solid thing to push against so that you can get nice clean shavings. I'm going into my side rails, but that's not a huge issue because I'll sand them anyway. And then that just brings it right down so it's nowhere near as, uh, so it's not sticking up as much.